name is Masi and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn on how to make uh, this crochet arm swarmer. I'm going to demonstrate it in the color uh, blue. But before we get into the crocheting, I'm going to make two videos of this. The first one will have the background voice as my voice explaining on how to go about the crocheting and the second video will have the background voice as my voice narrating a murder mystery. If you are able to watch both videos, I will really really appreciate and in case you have any ideas or suggestions you'd like to share with us, uh, do so at the comment section below. Let's get into the crocheting. I'm going to use a 3.0 millimeter crocheting hook. I have a darning needle, scissors and a tape measure and a category 3 yarn. For those who come from Kenya, this is Winter King. I have rolled it in a piece of wood, it's leftover yarn, but this is Winter King in the color blue. It's 100% acrylic and you will need roughly 150 grams. So those are three balls of yarn. Make a slip stitch. Insert your hook. Fasten it well and then make a chain of 90. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have 90 chains. Block off this last chain and make one turning chain. So plus the turning chain, we have 91 chains in total. Now this is what we will do. We will begin with the, uh, with the ribbing of the arm, of the arm wrist, as we work, uh, as we work upwards. This chain is the size of your arm from your wrist to your shoulder. So when you're making, ensure that it's to the length of your arm. You're going to make 15 single crochets. So skip the first chain and into the next, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, pull through these two. Into the next, insert your hook, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through the two. We are making single crochets, insert your hook into the next, yarn over, pull through the two. So we are making 15 single crochets. These are 14, one last. So you have 15 single crochets. Now into the remaining chains, work half double crochets. Pull through th the three. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next, and then pull through all the three. Pull through all the three. So we are making half dub double crochets up to the end of the chain.
into the last chain work a half double crochet did I forget to tell you that you need a stitch marker sorry about that so you'll need a stitch marker I don't have one but you can use a different color uh, of yarn so this is what you do count the 15 chains uh, single crochets that you had done so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and into the 15th mark it great now we are ready to get into the second row chain one and turn your work yarn over into the first stitch insert your hook and work into the back loop so insert your hook into the back loop pull through and then pull through all the three yarn over into the next working on the back loops only insert your hook yarn over pull through all the three into the next working on the back loops only work half double crochets to the back loops work half double crochets on the back loops up to the stitch marker yeah On the back loop now remove your stitch marker and into where your stitch marker was work a single crochet and into every stitch remaining on this row work single crochets chain one and turn your work so row two is done we are going to repeat this until you get the size of your wrist it should fit your wrist or whoever you are making it for let me show you one more time into the back loop of the single crochet work a single crochet and into the next 14 so work a total of 15 single crochets I'm usually not used to using stitch markers but in case you are a beginner and you need to use a stitch marker please mark the 15th uh, stitch so this is the 15th stitch place your stitch marker here so you have 15 single crochets yarn over into the next and into every other remaining stitch work half double crochets on the back loops only
chain one and turn your work yarn over and into the back loop of the first stitch work a half double crochet and into every uh, stitch up to the until you are left with 15 single crochets I have worked a total of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 I've worked a total of 28 rows this one is going to fit my sister, my daughter when you when you fold it it should fit the wrist So this is what you should have. Now we are going to join this, these two parts. We are going to join them so that we can get our arm. So you will have the, uh, the wrong side facing you. This one is my wrong side, this will be my right side. Turn your work like this. And we are going to use single crochets to do the joining. So chain one, insert your hook into this stitch and into the first stitch in this other uh, side. Pull through and then make a single crochet into the next insert your hook and through the other panel pull through two into the next and the one below yarn over pull through two so we are using the single crochet method to do the joining now do the joining until you are left with 25 stitches 25 unworked stitches So I have 25 unworked, unworked stitches, this will be my armhole. So work with whichever size will fit, it's not cast on stone. Chain one and then cut your yarn. So this is one of your arms, work another. So I've worked two of these and they have the armholes. So I'm going to join them together as I work on the neck. With the right side facing you, this is the wrong side. We are going to work round the arm. So what you do, insert your hook at the tip of this. Attach your yarn. Then 
and work a single crochet into the same space so chain one and then a single crochet now into every row insert your hook here and work a single crochet So chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then bring in the other arm. Insert your hook into the tip here, the first chain. Make a single crochet. Now make single crochets throughout the arm like we had done here. Make a chain of 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you have a chain of 15 and we are going to join it to the other side of this arm here. To the very first single crochet that we had worked so join it with a slip stitch so this is what you have your armholes and now we are going to work on the neck this is the back and this will be our front. So we'll be making the, the neck ribbing while joining it uh, to the shoulders all round. Make a chain of 35. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. Now that's the 36th chain is a turning chain. 
we are going to work to work slip stitches into every chain up to this point up to the last chain so you will have you skip the first chain into the next insert your hook yarn over pull through all into the next insert your hook yarn over pull through both chain both stitches if you are a tight crocheter you can use uh, you can go uh, a hook higher so you can use a four millimeter crocheting hook into the next pull through all make a slip stitch and then into the unworked single crochet of the shoulders here work a slip stitch into the next another slip stitch so you work two slip stitches on the uh, on the shoulder region chain one and then you turn your work skip these two into the third work a slip stitch and into every single slip stitch working on the back loops only make the slip stitches chain one and turn your work work on the back loops you work slip stitch uh, slip stitches into the back loops of every stitch that you had worked in the previous row into the last stitch you can counter check you can count ensure that you have 35 single uh, slip stitches and now we are attaching 
to the shoulders to the unworked single crochet slip stitch and into the next work a slip stitch chain one skip these two slip stitches this and this one and into the next work a slip stitch and into every chain so do this attaching your neck this is what you're going to do let me this is how it's supposed to be so work as you attach to the shoulders all round and then I will show you how to join these parts so I've done the neck region this is it and this is my last row so I'm going to join from this part downwards this is what you do the right side should be facing outside so when you're joining this right side here will be you will be joining from the right side so basically at the end of the day it will be the wrong side because we are going to wear it as a pull neck I hope you're getting what I'm trying to say but you will get it after we are done so let's get into the joining as we said we are working it the right side facing you and chain one insert your hook into the first stitch and into the first on the other side of the panel pull through all we are using the slip stitch method so you insert your hook and into the next pull through ensure you're working through both loops So I have joined, this is the right side, but it's now acting as the wrong side because we said we are going to wear it as a pull neck. So the right side is on this side. I think now we are together. Now the final step is to make single crochets all round through the neck here at the shoulders, at the armholes, just all round so that we can have a good clear finishing. So chain one and evenly work single crochets.
Now slip stitch into the beginning uh, single crochet here. Chain one and cut your yarn. Weave in the ends. We are done, it's a beautiful piece and you can make it to whichever size you would like to, even to an adult size. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we have a new video next. If you haven't watched the other video with the murder mystery, please give it a try. You can watch or even listen to it as you crochet along and I will really appreciate your feedback. We'll be really appreciated thank you so much and bye bye